Scott, what do you think of Men in Black 3? Um, I went into this movie with less let, lesser expectations than, um, than I came out with it. Um, this movie stars um, Will Smith and uh, Tommy Lee Jones playing their, their same roles from before. The movie starts out with a, uh, a prisoner escaping on the moon. It's uh, Boris the Animal escapes on mm-hmm. the moon. It, it kind of starts out a little bit rough. I went in the first 10 or 15 minutes of this movie and went, what am I in for? It was kind of ridiculous. Um, but basically, Boris escapes, decides that he's going to travel back in time to kill Agent K, who uh, shot off his arm back in, the, back in the 70s, I believe, or 60s. 69. 69, 70. And um, it's up to Agent J, played by Will Smith, to go back in time and stop Boris from killing Agent K. And uh, hilarity ensues, and he runs into... Agent K, younger version, played by Josh Brolin. <laughs> you look so confused explaining this. You're like, what was it? What? <laughs> <laughs> so Josh Brolin plays a young version of Agent K, and wow, does he nail this role. <laughs> he he sounds, looks, acts exactly like Tommy Lee Jones. Uh, it, it's quite impressive. The movie um, actually ends, in my opinion, pretty well. I liked how it wrapped it up. I, I did not see the ending coming at all. Maybe you did, but... Uh, um, I enjoyed it, and I had a lot of fun with it. What did you think of it, Aaron? Well, Scott, I really liked it. I thought it was a, quite a fine film. Um, I, <laughs> you're so serious. Uh, I, I liked it. I thought the first 10 minutes of the movie were awful. Yeah, it Just was bad. Just awful. When, uh, it's not really spoiling anything, but basically Boris has to escape for this to all to go down. And it's the worst 10 minutes I, I've seen in a movie in a long time. Yeah. Um, but then it got better. It actually turned into a fun movie. I was pleasantly surprised because I was convinced this was the biggest waste of 40 bucks I had spent in a long time because I took my daughter. Um, 3D, totally unnecessary. Yep. I, I don't yeah. know if it was added after the fact or what, but it was not exciting. It was not beautiful. It was just there. Uh, Will Smith was definitely back and charming as ever. But I will, to be perfectly honest, I thought some of his hip slang yeah. felt outdated. Shiznit. Yeah, shiznit. And I'm like, really? Shiznit? It's just not cool on you anymore, man. Uh, Tommy Lee Jones wasn't in the movie enough, in my opinion. Yeah. Josh Brolin, though, fantastic. Just as the young Tommy Lee, he was the funniest and coolest thing in the movie. So kudos to him. Uh, Jermaine Clement, I don't really know who he is, but he played Boris the Animal, and he started off cheesy as hell. But he had a lot more interesting in the movie. The movie itself, is, it's much better than the second one, which was awful. Um, but it's still short of the original by, by a country mile. Just, it had a, it had a very sweet ending, um, which I wasn't expecting. And that's what you're talking about. I assume, mm-hmm. uh, I didn't expect a sweet and charming ending and it really gave one and it actually works quite a, quite a bit yeah. and it gives real, real closure to the character. So I'm happy with that because the second one left you wishing that they had finished this off a little better. This one, they actually finished off a little better. Um, I really think the franchise just end. Yeah. You've done what you needed to do. I don't think there's a whole lot more story to tell. Um, and this one was much better than I thought it was going to be. So out of 10, I give it 650. I give it a six. Um, I think part of the appeal of the Men in Black series was the newness of it. The first movie was so mm-hmm. good because it was a brand new concept. And it, you really grew with with Will Smith's character as you were learning it along with him. I think that mm-hmm. was the big appeal and why that movie worked so well. And why the second one was such a failure outside of its many, many flaws was because he was already there. He's already in it, that kind of thing. Um, in, the, in the third one, you kind of go back to that a little bit with the appeal of Josh Brolin playing that character, and it really, and it really works. You learn a little bit about, it, about uh, Kay's history. You learn a little bit about some of the other characters. And, and it's really fun seeing Men in Black back in the 60s, especially like in like – the airport terminal or whatever they, mm-hmm. you know, um, cause all of the aliens and everything look like cheesy sixties, which you see on TV. Yeah. You know, all the bright colors and everything. That was, that was kind of fun. Um, that said, like I said, I think, I think they wrapped it up really well. I think the series should just stop here and then a high note. But yeah. again, but again, it's, it wasn't a great film. I, I still just give it a six. I actually, the one thing I will say is they handled time travel well, mm-hmm. which normally I don't like time travel in movies because except for Back to the Future, I can't think of many where it was done well. Mm-hmm. Uh, this one was done very well. I, I really liked it. I liked the story. I liked uh, how it played out, and I liked that the movie was very interesting. So 
I did not like the villain, Boris. No, I thought he was over the top. But thankfully, he's not in it. He's kind of like um, the villain was in the first movie, where he's not in it a lot. Mm -hmm. He's in it where he needs to be, and that's it. And that's kind of how this guy is. He's mm -hmm. not taking up an ordinary amount of screen time. So, I liked it. I don't know. I just think you got kind of like the villain. I mean, you got to like to hate the villain. And I just, it just felt like he was acting mm -hmm. the whole time I saw him. I just didn't, I just didn't buy him at all. Yeah. But. Well, so I give it a six and a half. Scott gives it a six. Mm -hmm. 